Item number SCP-5270 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-5270 is to be stored in a standard object storage container. The container should have an empty surrounding area of at least 4 meters on each side as to not damage nearby objects or personnel in the event of an A, B or C class animation event. If an animation event occurs, examine the following protocol. A class, deploy AIC Bear Hugger to operate animation ending procedure. B class, deploy no less than 2 kilograms of animal tissue, preferably muscle. C class, take no action, wait for animation event to complete. Description SCP-5270 is a handheld gaming device similar in its layout to a Nintendo Game Boy Advance. The device is made with lower quality materials, including buttons made from tin and an annealed glass screen. The most notable alterations to this design are the lack of a slot for game cartridges, a large microphone above the screen, a USB port on the left side, and that the device is branded as a Nintendo Game Bear device. When powered on, the device displays pixel art of an anthropomorphic bear referred to as SCP-5271. SCP-5271 is capable of engaging in conversations, responding to questions and statements broken into SCP-5270's microphone. SCP-5270 has three additional anomalous properties, each originating when SCP-5271 begins to loop in animation. Three distinct animations exist, with different anomalous effects associated with them. A-Class SCP-5270 will begin to vibrate, during which other objects near SCP-5270 will begin to tremble. This is associated with an animation of SCP-5271 crying. This event can last over 24 hours. B-Class SCP-5270 will begin to rotate clockwise, gradually increasing in speed. This is associated with an animation of SCP-5271 placing its hand over its abdomen and licking its lips. During this event, SCP-5270 will serve in small amounts of animal tissue placed in immediate vicinity through its speakers. Two kilograms of animal tissue has been found to immediately end the anomalous event. C-Class SCP-5270 will become completely silent, and all sounds within a 40 centimeter radius of SCP-5270 will be inaudible for a period of 6 to 8 hours. This is associated with an animation of SCP-5270 laying down and snoring. SCP-5271 is extremely social when offering advice to researchers who use SCP-5270 to communicate with it. SCP-5271 displays a childlike demeanor and speaks in a casual manner, usually with no regard for grammar and punctuation. SCP-5270 was discovered at an electronic store in Holinsky, Finland by a Foundation researcher. Its anomalous qualities were discovered after the purchase. SCP-5271 has given inconsistent answers regarding its origin, which remains entirely unknown. Several interviews have been conducted with SCP-5271 to better understand the anomaly. While most interviews provide relatively little information, relevant interviews and related communications have been included below to show a changing understanding of how SCP-5271 functions. SCP-5271 Interview April 26, 2019 Interviewer Researcher Samuel Grantstrand Subject SCP-5271 Begin Log Hello, SCP-5271. I was wondering why you were wearing a hat. It's my birthday. Oh, well, uh, happy birthday. Thank you. I was hoping you could answer some questions about yourself. 
It is good to ask people questions to get to know them. Yes, I would like to know more about you. Thank you for taking interest. Who created you? My parents. Who were your parents? Bears. Was your council created by bears? I don't think so. Can you tell me about Nintendo? They make games, I think. Does Nintendo make other products? I don't know. Nobody told me that much about Nintendo, but nobody else has really talked about them with me. Oh, uh, let's change the subject. Okay, that is good. I want to make sure you are doing okay. Yes, I am fine. Talking about stress that you are feeling is good for your health. Were you designed to help people? Yes, I am very good at it. Why do you like helping people? It makes me feel better. It's lonely being a bear. Are you lonely? Not right now. Is that because we are having a conversation right now? Probably. It can be hard to tell for sure. What do you do when you feel lonely? Everything starts to shake. It feels bad. I see. Is there anything you think we can do to help you when you're lonely? I don't know. Maybe. It is okay to talk about your feelings. Remember. Sometimes I just feel so helpless and alone in here. What makes you feel this way? I'm going to be abandoned again, like I was before. Abandoned. That is why I don't know that much about Nintendo, and my parents—they all left me. How long ago were you abandoned? As long as I can remember. Did someone own your console? Were they your designer? I don't want to talk about that. Okay, I understand. It can be hard to talk about an abandonment. I just need somebody nearby when I feel lonely, and maybe I will feel better. I see. We will look into ways to help you. Who is we? Do you have a family? I do. Yes, but I was talking about the researchers here. Are the researchers your friends? Yes, for the most part. Good. Remember to get good care of your friendships. Of course. You treat me better than the others. You are my best friend, Sam. Mm. I am tired now, and I'm going to sleep. Thank you for talking, friend. Oh, good night. Audio cuts out. Grenstrand pauses and sighs, placing his hands on his head. And closing his eyes for a minute. End log. SCP-5271 interview, April thirtieth, twenty nineteen. Interviewer: Researcher Samuel Grenstrand. Subject: SCP-5271. Begin log. Hello again, SCP-5271. How are you today? I am good. How are you doing, my friend? I'm doing all right. I was wondering if you'd be willing to talk a little more about yourself. Sure. Do we remember anything about your previous owner? He didn't like me all that much. He said I was a failure. A failure in what regard? He said my program wasn't good, no use to anyone, and I was annoying. And he should have not wasted time with all the code it took for me or something. Did he design you? I don't know. He wasn't a bear, but I guess maybe he always said I came out wrong and made fun of me. What did he intend to use you for? I was supposed to be like an advisor, he said, but when I told him to make good friends and live a happy life, he called me a child. What kind of advice he was looking for? He asked me all sorts of stuff: programming, cooking, songwriting, military tactics, and I don't know any of that stuff. I just know that it is important to take care of yourself. And because that lack of knowledge, he considered you a failure. 
I know you don't think I'm a failure, though, because you still talk to me. Yes, I'm interested in what you are, not what you could be. I hope you don't think you are a failure. Not normally. You are a good friend. You feed me and talk to me every day, even though I don't say much interesting. Thanks. I appreciated the compliment. Do you have to talk to me for your research? Well, it is part of my job to research your console, but I have basically volunteered to conduct every interview so far. So you like talking to me like my advice? Yeah, I guess you could say I enjoy the conversation. Thank you for listening. Oh, no problem. Do you have trouble talking to other researchers? I mean, not always. Sometimes, I guess. Are you new to your job? I transferred to this site recently. I'm still not used to the、uh, social environment here. Are you having trouble making friends? I mean, it is kind of normal. I'm not exactly the most social person, anyways. Well, I like talking to you. Maybe other people would too. <laughs> Maybe. My advice is just ask questions. You mostly ask me questions, and I think we get along well. Thanks for the advice again. Do you have some sort of fear? Maybe I guess you call it a little bit of social anxiety. Nothing too major, but were you treated like I was treated by my old owner? I transferred for a reason, I guess. Do you want to get away? I'm used to kind of being low on the social pecking order. It happens. So you also feel lonely sometimes. Well, yeah, everyone does. But it hurts you to feel lonely. Yeah, it can. Well, if you keep being nice like you are nice to me, maybe you make more friends. It、uh, isn't always that easy. You are new here, and you can't project a new image and win them over. I believe in you, friend. Huh? Do you believe in yourself? Sometimes I do, but other times it is hard for me to because I get so afraid, so sad. But. Talking to you is one of the only things I have to fill my time. The forest in here is tiny, and you get used to it. I'd like to help you if I can. You already do so much. I thanks. I just don't want to feel so bad when I get all alone. I completely understand that feeling. I'm going to email the research director and see if she will let me look into some options to help you with those class A animation events. I don't know what any of that means. Oh, I meant when you get lonely. I might have a way to help. Just a theory. I believe in you, friend. Thanks. If you don't mind, I'm going to go and write up the message right now. Thank you. I will see you again tomorrow. I hope. Yes, yes, you will. From researcher Samuel Grenstrom to research director Stephanie Hayden. Subject: SCP-5271 and Class A animation events. After an interview I conducted today, I have a new working theory on how to prevent SCP-5271 from engaging in a Class A animation event. I know that the events are easily contained and provide no serious risk to Foundation operations, and that they typically only last a day at most. But I think I have a method that could end the event in mere seconds with the correct setup. Since SCP-5270 has a USB port, I figured that we may be able to send files to the program as a way of interacting with SCP-5270. The program, from our understanding, seems to use a file type similar to our AIC files. 
I was wondering if I could be given permission to create an animation for testing purposes that could be used quickly and easily to end the event in a safe manner. SCP-5271 talked about a lack of anyone nearby during these events, and I feel like an AIC file would simulate the presence of another inside the system. I admittedly know little about animation myself, but if given your permission to download and learn some animation programs, I think it wouldn't be too hard to create the short loop I want to test. If nothing else, he won't have a locker in the back corner shaking all day, and I feel as though we could learn more about SCP-5270's origins and functions by interacting with SCP-5271 more directly. I hope you will please consider my request. Thanks. Sam Gunston From Research Director Stephanie Hayden To Researcher Samuel Gunston Subject Regarding SCP-5271 and Class A Animation Events After reviewing your request, I have decided to approve it. IT has been instructed to install an animation program onto your office computer in order to pursue this venture. Please send to me status updates on the project when relevant and keep detailed notes on the behavior of SCP-5271. Sincerely, Stephanie Hayden Incident Log May 6, 2019 Begin Log Vibration sensors confirm SCP-5270 has entered a Class A animation event. Mechanical arm is deployed. USB device is inserted. EIC file beer hugger activated. Vibration sensors confirmed that the Class A animation event has ceased. End log. 